Well, look, I'm sure <clears throat> you've seen the news, you've heard the news. We'll talk about it a little bit later on. But Celtic last night, going out of the champion, they already had a difficult draw, but going out of the Champions League is a blow for a club of that size. Yeah, it is. You know, it was disappointing, you know, me Celtic fan as well. It's it's one of them, you know, the ma new manager coming in, Postacoglu, you're thinking you, the, 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 kind of, the shambles of appointing him in, 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 the, in the end, you know, finally getting him in. I think it, as, a, as a manager, I think he's he's won things in Japan and Australia he's thought very highly of, but you've appointed him, so give him all the support that he needs. You know, make sure you, you, you that, 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 that transfer uh, pot that he can go out and buy players, players that he brings, the list that he gives, give him all the support, and then there's no excuses. You know, he, he has to be given time. He has to be given time. That's disappointment last night, of course. What, what does that mean for Celtic? That they're probably going to have to sign one of the, the main players to bring in, recoup that money that they've, they've missed out on. So does that mean Od Odson Edwards on, on his way? He wanted out this time last year as well. His head was turned. It was very difficult for, for Neil Lennon to, to handle that. It got thrown mm. into the, the, the media publicly, which I feel sometimes it has to be done because sometimes the, the manager's hands are tied. So uh, I like the, I like him though the way that he talks. He's honest, emotional. We all love that. They come out and say it as it is. Very passionate guy. Very passionate guy. And I just feel he needs to be given time. If he's given time, I think he'll turn it around because Celtic Football Club, you know, a club that I love, is is in a bad way at the minute. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. But it's interesting you mentioned Od Odson Edward. I think he's going to be one of the names on a lot of clubs' list. If we miss out on our main target. And I think this is where maybe it's a little bit unfair on the Scottish League, or Scottish Premiership, that I think a few big clubs in the Premier League, for example, will think, well, they, they can't say no to this amount of money. So we'll, we'll leave them on the end of the list. If we don't get our major targets, we know he's a, he's a good prospect. We can go and chuck £25 million on the final day of the window to Celtic. They lose their main goal scorer. Um, and we get the player that we want, but that would destroy Celtic season. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. But what I will say, £25 million odds in Edward is a steal. He is, he is, he is, he is frightening, and it's, it's one of those things. He's, he is a very, very good player. Not just the goals, his link-up play, his movement. He, he, he ticks all the boxes, and I just feel that you've, you've undersold him there a little bit. How much do you think he would cost then? Well, if because I, I don't think they're going to get more than that. Yeah, because they're, because they're a, they're a Scottish club. Mm. This is one of these. The, the, the I'm so not underselling him. I think he's a very good player, but in the market that, that Celtic operate in, they're not going to get forty million for him. Well, that if he was down, if he was down here. And I, I tell you it's something now. You look at look at Van Dyke as well when he went to Southampton. Mm -hmm. I, I look at him now. He's got what seventy five million or whatever it was that that uh, mm -hmm. that Liverpool waited. It's a very much like that. He he could get to those levels uh, as a striker if he came down and had a a, a prolific. See, as as all strikers, he has that potential. He has that quality. That he could he could do that. And you know what? I think I think I think more 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 uh, more so now that it's probably going to happen. See, he's one of those. I think you know. You look at the Tammy Abraham links, for example. You know, if a club misses out on a player like him, you've got Odson Edward right there. You can go and get. So, where do you think he could end up in terms of the level of club? Do you think he's good enough to move to a like the likes of an Arsenal? You know, would a West Ham suit someone like well, Odson Edward? Well, you're looking at a, a team that's above both of them in Leicester Brendan Rodgers that knows his player that was interested in, 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 and wanted to bring I think I think Palace are, are interested in, in him mm, as well mm. these are two clubs with the way that they play their football as well that he would come in and, and, and do well you know he's got all the attributes you know the athleticism the, the power the strength you know that football intelligence you know I think it's uh, yeah I think he'll, he'll do well uh, but hopefully hopefully it doesn't happen <laughs> <laughs> Kick off with Hugh Woosencroft Tuesday to Thursday night, 7 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.